Hi, I'm Carl Brower with Kelly Blue Book, and I'm here at the lovely Estoril Race Circuit near Lisbon, Portugal, driving the brand new Porsche Boxster GTS 4.0 and Cayman GTS 4.0. These are new models offered with an increased level of performance. What's great about the way Porsche has packaged these GTS models together is that they have all sorts of in incredible performance enhancements all in one trim. You don't have to think about it. You pick the GTS and you get all sorts of extra things. About $15,000 in extra performance oriented features that you would have to buy on something like the S or even the GT4 wouldn't come with all these things standard. Now powering these two models is a traditional 4 liter flat six engine, naturally aspirated. It makes 394 horsepower and 309 pound-feet of torque. This is more power than the 2018 version of these models, and that gives them a quicker zero to 60 time. They'll now do zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds, or about a tenth of a second quicker than the last versions. They also come with a wealth of specialized features that pay homage to the GTS trim. Things like darkened headlights and taillights, or black script on the outside where it says GTS 4.0. Now I was fortunate enough to drive these vehicles on this track and what you really learned is how well Porsche has tuned them for performance orientation without really giving up much when it comes to comfort as well. We drove them on the public roads and everything was fine. You're not getting beat up, the suspension is nicely damped, but you can turn it into sport or sport plus mode and bring it on a track like this and what you find is that the car is very friendly. It has a very high threshold before it starts to maybe get sideways on you and when it does, it's very manageable. You can really uh, trail brake to rotate the front end and again, naturally aspirated, which I love. That means when you hit the throttle, things happen immediately. There is no waiting. The car shoots out of corners. I think Porsche is very smart to keep building out this GTS kind of sub-brand within their model lines. These are great examples of it. They're basically creating a, almost a, a third fan base here outside the standard models and the top-end models. And again, when you're on a track like Astoral, you're learning that this car can do everything you want it to do as a regular car for daily use and everything you want it to do as a track car for weekend fun. It's a great combination. I give Porsche a lot of credit for being able to package it together the way they did. When these 4.0 GTS models hit, they will initially all be manual shift versions, but a seven speed PDK version will be available later in the order cycle. We figure cost, which hasn't been officially announced yet, probably in the mid to high 80 range, depending on whether you're getting the hard top Cayman or the convertible Boxer. But either one is gonna deliver the kind of performance you expect from these GTS letters that Porsche has effectively built up over the last several years.